I'm going to show you today how to get two Google Hangouts on Air running on the exact same machine at the same time. It is a trick. It's kind of clunky, but it does work. Um, I'm sure Google does something. Um, they they actually limit this on purpose. I think even if you had Google Chrome and Fire Mozilla Firefox both running, both logged into two different Google accounts. If you try a Google Hangout on one and then you try it on the other, it's not going to work on the second one. Uh, Google is smart enough uh, to know what you're running, and it has to do with not wasting their bandwidth, I'm sure. But I, I did find a way that will work, uh, and I tested it today, and it does work. And it has to do with running a VM, a virtual machine. I run VMs all the time. I happen to be running VMware Workstation on this machine. I use VMware Player on other machines. Uh, my district IT guys are really cool. Uh, virtual machine is a machine inside a machine, and I'll run another video on that and how to install it as well and link that to this YouTube. First off, realize that I am running two separate operating systems at once on this machine. It is a Windows 7 machine, so here on the left, you see my Windows 7 desktop, but I'm running an Ubuntu virtual machine, a completely separate and independent operating system also at the exact same time on the exact same machine. Now, in interest of time, because I'm recording this with, with Jing and I only have five minutes, uh, I've already launched uh, a Mozilla Firefox web browser page here in my Google or in my Ubuntu VM and I'm already on my Google Plus page. Now notice that I am I have to log into two different accounts for this to work. So here's my PHS Cisco Gmail account that is the primary on this. I'm going to come and I'm going to make a Hangout on Air. The reason I like the Hangouts on Air as opposed to just a regular video call type Hangout is because they let me uh, give a URL instead of sending invites. For some reason the invites don't always work and there's the URL right here at the top standard Google Hangout or Hangout on Air in this case is going to be created. Do, 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 do. Oh, there it is. Now I like to say VM Hangout on Air or something like that. I like to make sure that I say which one's the VM, which one's the regular machine. And the reason for that is that if there is trouble, you want to know whether one of your users is on the Hangout on the virtual machine or whether they're on Hangout on 7. So I'm going to go ahead and start this on air. It's going to take it a little bit. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on because I'm already at three and a half minutes. So here I have my Chrome window. I'm logged into a different account and I'm gonna go ahead and there you see the other one is still coming out over here it's still working on it and here I'm going to do my hangout on air again you don't have to do the hangouts on air this will work with regular hangouts but the advantage of doing a hangout on air is that you don't have to send your invitations up front come on hangouts on air please I guess I hit the wrong button um, Coming down, start a hangout on air. Notice that while I'm waiting on this, in this, it's it's already on, it's ready to go. Here, this is a Windows 7 HOA, and I'm going to start this one. Now what makes this really work? Hi. Uh, what makes this really work is the screen share because your Windows 7 can see the screen of your other machine. Oh, here, it, oops, let's go back. When the screen share, and I can actually see the other machine. When I start my screen share, you lose my pretty face. Here it is. I'm actually watching the other, and that's now two separate and independent Google Hangouts on air at the same time on the same machine. You could broadcast both. You could broadcast one. Some have asked me, uh, can a screen share both? No, because Ubuntu can't even see that Windows 7 exists. Uh, some downsides, but that's it for me. Good luck.